Jones. Face the other way. Oh, huh. Hi guys, welcome back to Art Time with Mrs. Jones. My name's Zoe. And I'm Shelly. Hey, would you mind if you go get my mom so we can start drawing? Sure. Welcome back to Art Time with Mrs. Jones. Today we have a very special San Marcos edition of Art Time with Mrs. Jones. We will be drawing mermaids, mermaids. or Poseidon. So for today's activity, you're gonna need quite a few items. You will need a paper and a Sharpie. It's very important that you use a permanent marker to draw with. Make sure you get your parents' permission before doing so. You'll also need crayons to color with and markers along with aluminum foil. Sounds weird, but we'll use it. I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. And you'll need a bucket of water and a sponge or wash rag to use to moisten your paper with. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get started. All right, friends, we're gonna go ahead and get started by drawing the face in the top part of the paper as it is laying vertically. So we're gonna start with a U shape at the top of your paper. We're gonna do little circles where the eyes a little bit lower than the top of that. And then half of a football shape above that. We're gonna do a little C for a cute little button nose. And then a little bit of a curved line with a little bit bigger of a curved line for the mouth. From here, we're gonna do the hair. So we're gonna start above this eye, so going to the side a little bit, and you'll make a little bit of an S shape coming down. And then connect it with a C shape down into a point. We'll do the same thing on this side, going down and a little bit like a S or a snaky shape. And then connect that one as well. Now each time we are connecting this with a point at the end. So from here, you're gonna do several of those going outward so that the hair looks as though it's floating in the water. So we have our hair and if you need to pause and keep going, you can do that. But we are gonna move on from here down to the body. So we'll go ahead and do a tiny little neck coming straight down under the mouth, under the chin. Then we're going to go out with our shoulders. And if your hair came down longer, that's okay. Then we're gonna go down in a diagonal line and out horizontally. And the same thing, down and out. Then you'll do one, two, three, four, five little fingers. And then run parallel back up to the underarm here. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And try to match the same thickness of the arm here so that they're the same size. All right. Then we're gonna come down, not quite to a V, but to a narrower waist right here. Then we'll go out almost all the way to under this arm. and then curve a little bit down this way. Perfect. All right guys, I'm not really sure what happened, but the video stopped when we were making this line here. So if you want to catch back up, we have drawn just part of 
the fin right here. So we made an S shape going up this way. We're gonna connect it to that point. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, coming up higher than the point and going the opposite way. And then connect that to the point. So that's kind of longer. <laughs> And if you're wondering what is this, I just drew a crown for more decoration. Perfect, I love it. It's a beautiful princess mermaid. Mm -hmm. We're gonna come back up to the top and do a little heart-shaped top. And this will all be her outfit here. If you want to draw little scales on here or decorations, you are welcome to do that. From here, we're going to color it very firmly with crayon. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you press very firmly with your crayon to leave as little white space on the mermaid herself. You do not wanna color anything in the background. You are just coloring the mermaid and you're gonna to wanna to press firmly because we're gonna be making a marker resist in a minute. And if you remember whenever we did that in class, it's where you put marker over the paper and the crayon resists the, um, the, the marker color itself. So let's go ahead and get started with that. finished coloring our pictures we're actually gonna move these to the side we're gonna grab our foil and on here we are going to color the different colors that we would use in uh, for Perfect. water so we're gonna start with probably like a blue maybe add some green maybe some purple and maybe even yellow so we're gonna do these colors all over very water-esque. Okay, so we have our marker on our aluminum foil. We're gonna move that to the side again and grab our picture. Now, with our picture and your aluminum foil, it doesn't matter if it gets a little dry, it will still work. So we're gonna take your rag or your sponge or whatever it is that you have in the water and you're gonna dip it in and get it just a little bit wet. You don't want it to be dripping. You want it to be wet enough to moisten your paper. And you're gonna go over your paper with the wet rag or sponge. Now, this is why it's important that you used crayon and a permanent marker because the permanent marker will not bleed whenever you wipe this down. So you're gonna take this and just wipe it over your paper. And then you will take your foil and you're going to push this down and rub it on that marker. So you're gonna massage this wet paper on the marker and it's going to print that color onto your page. And you don't want your page to go um, rubbing around on the foil. And then you will peel it off and you will have the picture covered in your colors. Now, this is why it was very important that you put the um you press firmly whenever you were coloring it with crayon because it will dye anything that's not colored so if i take this here 
I can dampen this and it will take off a little bit of that marker, but not a lot, but it's pretty because it looks like she's underwater, right? So now we're gonna do Zoe's. So it's still wet enough, so I wouldn't put any more water on there. So go ahead and wipe that with the wet. tattoo yeah it is kind of but like for a paper put it up here for like like a paper yeah for paper tattoo yeah all right i'm gonna pick that up and you keep it set in here and rub it rub it i hope this really works for me because it might not work oh it'll work okay okay now peel it off Mine's kind of different, but. Ooh, I like it that it's kind of spotty ish. Now, what you can do is you can add more. You can use that over and over again <gasps> because really? this will um, just wipe right off. And then you can use it again and again. And since it's washable markers, if you're using a washcloth, it will wash right out of here. But for now, we have these beautiful prints. And we will move on to making Tucker's King Triton or Poseidon print. All right, so Tucker is going to do a picture of King Triton or Poseidon with me. So we're gonna start a little bit differently on this one. We're gonna start with the eyes. So at the top, we're gonna draw two little circles with that half of a football, just like we did before. And then we will draw a more angular nose here. Then we will start by drawing half of his mustache flowing in the current toward the left. And then we'll do the other one matching it going that way. And again, everything kind of ends in a point here. All right, go up top and do the crown. And then bring some hair over and to the left. Now here's where you can start to play a little bit with your hair, but we're gonna go ahead and do a bunch of these little pointed hair pieces flowing in the current toward the left. circle or a part of a circle on that side so where the shoulder would be so right in here where the shoulder would be kind of draw like a little crescent okay and then you're gonna draw go above it and draw another one going down like that this is his big muscles perfect now from here we're going to cut it off and come out this way kind of horizontal going that way toward this side of the page but not all the way that's the forearm and then you're going to go ahead and do a little cuff on his arm so a little rectangle or square shape okay and then you're going to draw a stick going in front of it Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go 
back and stop. You're gonna draw one, two, three, four little ovals. And then go back up and go down behind those. Mine went off the page, yours won't, it doesn't matter. Okay, now at the top, we're going to go out and then we're going to curve it up just a little bit. Okay. We're going to do a triangle at the top of each of those. triangle. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to go back and finish his arm and body here. So we'll go this way, matching that. And then we're going to give him some muscles on his body that are kind of in front of this arm a little bit. So we're going to go out and out like that. muscles like the rock okay or it's like Jason me. Momoa what oh. okay I'm gonna go back here and you'll do some muscles on his arm but it might get covered like yours is almost covered so I would just connect that all the way to his body perfect okay so from here we're going to come sideways this way right underneath where his shoulder would be here and match wherever it's not covered by hair. So I'm matching his chest and his obliques here because it's not covered. So yours would be like right in here. Okay. So come down and match this line. Perfect. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and cut him off with where his tail is going to be. We're going to go over and bend it down with his knees and then we'll come back up here and we'll come down and over and bend that down. And go up further. There you go. And this will be where his tail goes which he's so big, he's going off of the page. And that's fine. Then we'll do his other arm coming out of his hair here. So I'm just gonna do kind of a muscle here. This is already his forearm. So we'll do his forearm here and his other little triangle or rectangle square. So come up here. You might want to do a, a shoulder. So do the same thing that you did on this side. Come down with that muscle and then come down with the forearm down here. So from here to here. Good. And then do the little triangle, the little rectangle or square. A little cut. And then do the hand. Like this. Whatever you want. Hmm. Oh, we didn't connect in here. There you go. And then the thumb pops up the side. Thanks, Jeff. Can you come out real good? You can give him 
stomach muscles. Mr. Muscle Man, that's fine. All right, now we're gonna color. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I think that it was a very fun activity that we could do together to get ready for summer and the heat and the sprinklers and the water hose fun that we all can have even if we can't make it down to the river for a while longer. If there's any of your work that you wanna share, please make sure to take a picture of it so that we can see it because we would love to see your work also. Until next time guys, keep creating. Love you so much. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. I really, really, really liked it a lot. It's really cool. I'm glad you liked it.